Hey, Mr. Perka here to review a uh, bombshell bloodbath. Uh, I saw the trailer for this and thought it looked excellent, thought it looked right at my alley, and thought it looked like an amazing throwback uh, type deal to uh, films that I love. And uh, that's pretty much what it was. Uh, Bombshell Bloodbath uh, starts off with a zombie outbreak, and then uh, we're shot back six days to see how this zombie outbreak occurred. Uh, the film's soundtrack is what really captures you right off in the beginning. It's by a, a band called Umberto, obviously inspired by Umberto Lenzi and uh, films and uh you know, the soundtrack is Italian style for sure. The, throughout the entire movie I saw, you know, it's a graveyard scene and it sounds a lot like Burial Ground score. And then you'll see scenes where it sounds like zombie. All sorts. The score is amazing and the reminiscent of the old Italian zombie films that we all know and we all love. And it creates that kind of vibe that you really can't get anywhere else. The soundtrack really helps with the movie. Also, the way it's shot is uh, really professionally done. And there's a lot of atmosphere, a lot of fog, a lot of tombstones and stuff like that. Uh, thick with the atmosphere. The plot is kind of reminiscent of uh, something like a abdominal Dr. Fibes with this guy trying to bring back his wife and he'll stop at nothing to do it. Uh, he even has the wraps because he got injured. He got bit in the face. He has the wraps around so you got to get an invisible man, dark man, kind of science gone wrong, angry vengeance, insanity type deal. And uh, the plot's fun. Uh, it's 50s meets Italian style zombie gore and stuff like that. But, uh, like I said, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It has a lot of uh, style of stuff and influence for movies that I absolutely love. The gore is great. The zombies look great. Uh, there's one odd thing about this movie. Uh, when new characters are introduced, uh, we have the, our main core of people. Uh, one of the daughters gets kind of like semi-infected and she uh, needs to find uh, more antidote. And uh, every time you're introduced to new characters, there's like a five, ten minute setup with just those new characters before they're intermingled with the old characters with the main characters it's kind of strange considering most of them don't stick around if you can catch my drift uh i'd recommend this highly well uh, there's a lot of great tracking shots overhead uh kind of like that old school uh vibe we get on zombies uh you know with like the mass of zombies you usually see a lot of cgi hordes now we going over the fields and stuff in this movie we really get to see a bunch of zombies which i loved uh the uh, from the sky shots which uh isn't very typical in low budget horror movies anymore probably very expensive i guess or however they did it it worked very well <laughs> like i noticed I, the tracking of this film was a uh, top notch and whatever camera they used and effects make it look uh, really uh, nice and old at the same time not too crummy or forced not a bunch of sometimes you see a lot of the grindhouse movies and it just like really cheap filter over it and that's that's the deal i don't know what they did with this but it looked good to me uh, I necessarily don't want to call this a grindhouse, but, you know, your typical throwback to something of uh, yesteryear or the, definitely the Italian-style horror film. <coughs> But, uh, like I said, the tracking's really great in this. The zombies look great in this. And it's really, to me, it's not a traditional zombie movie unless you show somebody get ripped to pieces or somebody being ripped to pieces. And this movie delivers on the goods there. And uh, probably on the the character you most want to see ripped to pieces. Uh, like I said, this is the gore is old school in here. I love it. Uh, a lot of uh, classic stuff in here. So, basically, if this sounds like it's up your alley, then I would recommend checking it out uh, packed with gore, packed with enough uh, influence from some of the best horror movies ever made, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen uh, shout-outs to Burial Ground, you know, Zombie with the raps and everything like that, you know, uh, the typical scientist gone mad storyline, but... Uh, the opening is great. If that doesn't catch your attention, I don't know what will. And like I said, I know I always keep reviewing zombie movies because I love them and I want to see something like this. And when I do see something like this, I just worry that you guys won't think that I'm, you know, excited about it. But I am excited about this movie. It's very good. Uh, much better than any of the zombie movies I could think of that came out this year. And it's probably in my top ten thus far uh, for this year. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. A week ago stopped. I just had one more shot. I could have saved her. I've already managed to preserve the body and now I just need to get her heart started again. And then something went wrong. Shit! What the hell are you doing in the middle of the goddamn road, woman? And this makes the third grave robbery in the last two weeks.
Police officials have closed off all cemeteries in the Rockingham County area, and it is yet to be determined whether- This is some stupid, weird fucking shit. You cannot play God!